So take a guess, how many people do you think are on Earth right now? I'll go 6.5 billion. Oh my gosh. Nine billion. We've done our part with the four. <laughs> it was four million in 10,000 BC. We hit our first billion in the early 1800s to 7.7 .7 billion today. And then all of a sudden, whoosh, how did we get to this population so fast? Better food supply. People are living longer. Improve water and sanitation. Innovation in medicine. Audrey Durellian is a demographer at the U of M. Life expectancy has gone up. Even as fertility rates have dropped worldwide. Still, for every one death, 2.5 people are born. And there are some regions where we really saw we're driving that growth. So you can think of countries like India and China. The two most populous in the world, the U.S. is a distant third. But that will actually change. A lot of the growth is happening right here, sub-Saharan Africa. Over the next 30 years, many sub-Saharan sub African countries are going to double in size, mm. um, while some other regions are actually going to shrink. Like China, Japan, Thailand, and much of Europe. Europe. Us in the Americas, we're going to continue to increase, but now we are not going to, population growth is not going to be as fast um, as it is in Sub-Saharan Africa. Do you think that we could handle 10 billion people no. on this earth? 10 billion people trying to use the same amount of resources? Seems dubious. So that's a difficult uh, question to ask. That it's not necessarily that population growth is bad. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we, what we really want to make sure is that if there is growth, that it's done in a way that's environmentally sound. The water alone is a problem. We will have to see. And in the time we took to tell this story, we've added about 300 people to the world. Wow, this looks crazy. They're just yeah. Heather Brown. NASA needs to find a way to get to Mars. WCCO 4 News.